my name is Kiran Makkar and today I'll be discussing with you ideas for a cue card um, which is uh, uh, which is being seen uh, nowadays uh, in the IELTS speaking module that is uh, in June 2015 describe a place you went to that was full of color where it was why you went there what you did there explain why you think that place was made so colorful we live in a world full of color life would be very dull and boring without color it is difficult to imagine a life without the blue sky the green grass and all the colorful flowers here i would like to talk about a place i visited which was full of color Last year, I went to Jaipur with my family. We went there for a one-week holiday. We saw so many palaces and forts over there. We saw the city palace, the Maharani palace, the Amer fort, and so many other places. We also did a lot of shopping over there. Jaipur is also known as the pink city. It is named after a color. Many buildings over there are pink in color. There is a place near Jaipur called Chokhidhani. We spent one whole day over there. It is a place just like Haveli, where many artists display the culture and tradition of Rajasthan. It looked as if the whole colorful culture of Rajasthan was on display there. We saw many dances, especially the Jhumar dance, in which the performers were wearing the most colorful dresses. We saw the Kalbelia or the Snake Charmers dance, in which the performers were dressed in black. Then there was the colorful puppet show. I bought some puppets as souvenirs for my friends. We clicked many photographs over there. It was an amazing day. All those colorful memories are still fresh in my mind. The entry ticket included the traditional Rajasthani meal. We returned to our hotel after enjoying the dinner. If I get a chance, I would love to visit Chokhidhani once again. So let me look at the cues beneath the cue card. There is one cue here. Explain why you think that place was made so colorful. So I don't think I have answered this cue and uh, this is a mistake that I have done. I generally advise my students to look at all the cues here first and answer them in one or two sentences each. And then after the, all the cues have been answered, then I advise them to go on and expand their cue card because the examiners then can stop you midway and uh, if they are satisfied that you are on the right track and you are answering well. And uh, explain why you think that place was made so colorful. For this cue card, I can say, for this cue, I can say that I think that place was made so colorful because um, because the Rajasthani uh, culture is very colorful. And uh, in that place especially, uh, it was a display of the uh, Rajasthani culture, which is colorful. And also, it is uh, it was made like that to attract tourists. And uh, no doubt... It was uh, successful. It is a successful attempt because uh, because the day I went there also, I saw a huge crowd over there. And every day, uh, people were saying that every day, many tourists come there and visit that colorful place. So that could be answered like that. Now I'll give you some sample answers for the follow-up questions. What colors are least popular in your country? Uh, I think I would answer this question that uh, there is no color which is the least popular or the most popular because uh, um, uh, India is a country with a population of 120 crores and every person has their own choice and it is very difficult to say which color is the least popular and I don't think any color is there which is least popular. I think all colors are equally popular. Would these colors become popular in the future? Now, this question would not arise if the first answer is uh, question is answered the way I did, because uh, this in this follow-up session it is a two-way discussion. 
uh, what was the most popular color last year well most of the colors were very popular and uh, um, usually uh, I got all my dresses made in uh, yellow and pink because they, those are my favorite colors but it is very difficult to generalize and say which one color was the most popular how do colors affect people's mood well colors do affect people's mood and uh, that is the reason um, for example green and pink are uh, thought to soothe down the people and that is why many prisons in uh, US have been painted green and pink and uh, um, bright colors uh, uh, make you feel lively and uh, energetic what colors are mostly seen for buildings in India well there are buildings in almost all the colors but mostly uh, because the summers in India are very long and hot so mostly there are light colors because uh, uh, white reflects heat so to keep the buildings cool people paint the outsides in light colors what color is suitable for offices uh, well uh, it depends on the office I think and uh, mostly light colors and uh, like whites and uh, light yellow light pink they are good for offices how differently do men and women look at the same color uh, again uh, in today's scenario there are no gender differences so I don't think men and women look at the same color differently um, red is a symbol of love for both men and women yellow is a symbol of friendship for both men and women so I don't think uh, men and women look at the same color differently nowadays there are no gender differences is there any change in the use of colors in the present and in the past uh, no I don't think so there is any change in the use of colors uh, they are used in the same way do colors make a difference in the advertisements well yes uh, colorful advertisements are more catchy and they attract people more so do colors do make a difference in the ads what colors are suitable for formal occasions well it depends on the formal occasion if the formal occasion is a wedding uh, or any other party like that birthday party then all colors are suitable but if the formal occasion is an office uh, uh, party or a conference then whites blacks and uh, such colors are more suitable do business people need to wear dark colors dark clothes not necessarily uh, it is uh, the colors should be uh, the clothing clothes should be sober and uh, uh, they should not be too colorful office uh, clothes because uh, colorful clothes are distractive, uh, dist uh, distractive to work. They distract people from their work. So I think that is the only thing that needs to be considered. So these are a few uh, sample answers to the follow-up questions. If you have any other answer in mind for these questions, please share them in the comment section and. Uh, if you like uh, these uh, cue cards and the sample answers to this these cue cards then you must uh, encourage me by commenting and uh, uh, subscribing to my uh, channel uh, and uh, if you want any special uh, uh, special ideas for some more cue cards you can just uh, write to me I'd be very happy to make some sample answers and provide them to you. Thank you so much.